So you want to start by rolling some oven baked clay around in your hands to warm and soften it. And then you'll just start forming a large eye shape, about as big as the eye of Agamotto. Just like that. And you want to make two of those the exact same size. So then just take something round and make a circular indentation on one of the eyepieces. And then just use an X-Acto knife or something similar to go around the circle and cut it out. You want to cut all the way through so that you can just pop the circle out. Just like that. And so then take some more clay and form a smaller eye shape that will fit right inside that hole. And then do the same thing, cutting out a circular shape from the center of the eye. And then you want to form and then you want to form a little eyeball shape that will fit right inside the hole you just made. So they should fit together like that. And so then everything should fit together just like that. But before you put everything together, you want to form four long, thin strips of clay. And then with your smaller eye on the bottom piece, you just lay one strip over the eye and break off the end at the edge of the bottom piece. And then you lay a second strip, bending it down. Sorry, I'm like way off camera here. That second strip like that. And then you lay a third strip going the opposite direction. Just kind of look at the eye to see where you're supposed to lay these strips. And then of course the fourth strip. And that'll be the last one. You want to do them with the first two on the bottom and then the two going the other direction on the top. And then you'll cover everything with the top piece. Push the edges together just like that. So then take a needle or a toothpick and draw in all the little decorative lines. Um, they don't show up that well in the plain clay, but they look pretty cool once it's painted. You can kind of see them here. So then you just want to cook your clay for as long as the package tells you and let it harden. Um, I was originally going to put some clay loops on to connect the chain to, but I ended up accidentally breaking them off, so just ignore those. So once your clay is all cooked and hardened, you just want to give the entire thing a coating of metallic gold paint. You can see the lines a lot better now. That's where the little loops broke off. So then find something to use for a chain. Um, it was cording in the movie, but I didn't have any, so I just ended up using an old necklace chain that was lying around. And so hot glue does not work on this type of clay, so take a piece of tape and wind your chain around it a couple times and then stick it to the back of the amulet on both sides. So then I just took some gold paint and painted it over the tape so it matched the rest of the amulet. And then if you want to, you can paint the center eye neon green to make it look more like it's lit and open, but I just chose to leave mine closed.